Welcome to another edition to the Assassin's Sports Show and much more guys. Thank you for love, appreciation you bring each and every day. You have the face to run the place. I cannot do this show. Watch I guys. Thank you for likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for your comments. I've been amazing with the comments. And guys, thank you so much for taking time to watch my videos each and every day. And thank you for growing this show each and every day, guys. I cannot do this show watch. So thank you so much. So guys, this is the preview to the Miami Dolphins and Cincinnati Bengals, man. So, this is the preview of the game this Sunday. So, let's get started, right? Like I say, guys, thank you so much for everything, the love and support each and every day. I cannot do this without y'all. Y'all are the face to run the place. So, thank you again. So, let's get to it. Um, Miami should win easily. Um, Cincinnati does have weapons. Does have good receiver core. Uh, they got Higgins. I love that kid coming out of college. I think he's going to be special. They got AJ Green and and a little bit of running game, Joe Joe. So they do have a nice nice group of weapons. Now they don't have a great defense. Um, you know their defense is ranked thirtieth. Like um, pressure of the quarterback, they are yes not. Great defense. You could throw on, on them. You could run on them. So they're not a great defense. So I, I expect Miami to dominate um, the the offensive side of the ball. I expect them to dominate. I expect um, the running game gets going. Tua or Fitzpatrick in there. Tua still day to day. Limited um, practice today. So we will not know until Sunday if he's, he's full go. Um, again, you don't need him in this game. So if they want to take precaution on that, then let them take precaution. You don't need him. Fitz can win you this game easily. Um, Bengal does have a nice special team group. Um, you know, but Miami does have, an, we do have a good special team group too. I think we got a better coach. Um, I think we got to dominate. Both sides of the ball. I think Miami defense. I think X gets other interception. Hopefully, Jones. I've been saying week to week, Jones should get an interception. Um, but to be honest, they're not really going to Jones side. They are mostly going to Needham side and Rome. But I, I, I expect those two guys to step up and have big games on Sunday. Um, this game doesn't scare me. Maybe a little bit because you know you don't want to. Pray down to the competition. Um, Cincinnati does have a backup quarterback playing, so you could do a lot of fronts. And to when you could blitz them, you could break zone, you could play a lot of different kind of defense to confuse them. And, and Miami is gonna bring the house. I'm, I expect that. Miami, I'm just happy that we got Watkins back. Um, Davis is playing on his line. I told you, teams are not gonna run on us easily like there was beginning of the year. And people say, oh, the running game, I, I'm, listen, it's not the, Miami run defense is fine. It's, it's fine. I'm not worried about that. Yes, they, they gave up. But remember, most of the, the running yards are mostly on, on the quarterback, are running a lot. But, you know, that's fine. I, listen, Miami run defense, I'm not worried about it. If the quarterback has to run every single time, I don't care. But the, the running game, the running defense, I'm not concerned about. Um, Miami has been playing better defense. The only thing in Miami defense that's concerning, and it happened again, not a lot of pressure. It's not coming easily, like, like when we was winning five in a row. Um, so that's a little bit concerning. But like I said, we have to draft or sign a free agent for... Um, for pass rusher, just yes, because I think that's a home on defense that we have. If you could get one more guy to pressure um, the quarterback, I think you'd be fine. Maybe a Clowney will come here. Maybe JJ Watts. Supposedly they might be done with him. Yes, he's older, but he's proven and he could give you one or two good years. Guess when if you call him for pass rusher, um, uh, I think our guys are doing a, a great job. I just think you need one more elite, like a Joey Bosa, 
or somebody like that, I think I, I think you'll be fine. Um, that's the only thing. That's the only question. The linebackers, I, I'm really pleased of how our linebackers been playing. Uh, ben Franco, Baker, Hill. Uh, all of those guys have been doing a great job so far. Um, what else? Um, I think that's it, guys. I think our offensive line got to get better. I think our running game is coming. Now, whoever's going to be in running back, that's Washington got a hamstring. Um, Gator C still got, it's an IR protocol, I guess. He's off of IR, but he's still wearing a sleeve. Don't know um, how much they could play him. Um, but you still got guys who can run pretty decent. Breida, Lair, and hopefully you get those guys back. Um, so if it's Tua back there or is it Fitzpatrick back there, I would love to see Tua, to be honest with you. But again, this game, you don't need him. And I think, like I said, report came out that he wanted to go last week, but they hold him out. And this week, he's trying to go to come back earlier, but he got, uh, he taped his thumb and his wrist. So to see if it felt comfortable. I think they're trying to get him out there. But again, if, if this is an easy game for Miami, why rush him? I'd rather have him against um, Kansas City and see and see what happens there. But again, his coach is gone. Hopefully he gets better. I think the the, the dumb is doing better. I think he's getting treatment. He's, he's going to be fine. It's just one of those things that how how coach feels comfortable. And... Does Tua feel comfortable? How he does it? The training staff feel comfortable putting him out there. So again, he, yeah, like you said, like Coach said, everybody's necked up. Um, Tua is no different than anybody else. He's just one of those things. He's necked up, and, and you got to see how it goes. So again, man, I, I think Miami wins 30, 31 10 Miami, and I see. We'll see you from there, guys. I I want to see Tua. Uh, you know I'm a Tua believer, and let's see what happens. So that's that's my thoughts, guys. The the, the pregame. So so I can't wait to Sunday so I could do my pregame and all this and give you more thoughts and more notes what I think. But for now, this is what it is. That's what I think. Um. Comment below, what do y'all think? Do you, do you agree, disagree? It's all up, up to you guys. Again, guys, thank you for the support. I'm making another video, guys, about Prince Charles and, and Camilla. It's a big issue right now in London with that. So stay tuned if you, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all been seeing my videos about, about the crown and I made another video about Princess Diana and, and Prince Charles, so it's it's and now it's a big thing right now. So I let y'all know if y'all like that stuff, I'm making another video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys. God bless. See you later, guys.